Coom Cassius Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global in Norwich here at the Kickstop Gym. I'm joined by the one and only Francis and Pofo and his son oh, Archie. Archie. <laughs> yeah. How are you, mate? You the unknown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, how long has it been since you was in the ring? Oh, 15 years ago. 15 years uh, ago. Last fight was against um, Johnny Armour for the WBU. Lost that and then I bought a chicken farm and moved over here. Chicken farm? Chicken farm, believe you yeah? or not. Yeah. Talk to me about that. <laughs> talk to me about oh, chickens. Um, it's something me, me and Herbie used to talk about all the time. Every time tra in training, all we did is talk about chicken farm, chicken farm. And then I bought myself one, retired and came down here. Producing eggs, which is like um, 9,000 eggs a day. Free range eggs. Great. Uh, Why not? Why not? Why, Why not? That, it keeps me busy. I work, I work with the wife. So she's like mind marked me every day. <laughs> Working away, yeah. Are you are you in the chicken industry as well, yeah, Archie? Yeah, I help him out sometimes. You help him out? me into it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, all these press conferences you see now with everyone kicking off, Francis, the, the king of them was Herbie, wasn't it? it was Herbie, yeah, Herbie, Herbie. <laughs> Herbie was one of the original. Herbie lift the table up, who attack the people, no problem. <laughs> Herbie go anywhere for free fights anyway, so that's, that's him. I was going to say, if yeah. IFL were filming in the days of Herbie Yard, I'm sure our footage would have been. You get so many, yeah. you get so many people watching, watching you, man, because Herbie would just go for anyone. Anyway. Definitely. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, um, we know you're very close with uh, Barry and Eddie Hearn, and yeah, yeah. Eddie Hearn's always tweeting pictures of you <laughs> from yesteryear. And uh, oh, yes. <laughs> talk to me about your relationship with with Barry and Eddie. Well, Barry, is, is, well, Barry, and there's two people I really, really respect in boxing. That's Barry Hearn and Ambrose Mendy. I really, they, they're the two that I don't really mess around when I see them, because I'm too scared. Just respect. You know, and then he looked after me for 12 years since I turned pro, and I went, I did, I boxed with him all the way through to I retired in 2002. I got enough respect for Barry, enough respect, and I've always there. Uh, um, Eddie, I've known him since he was young, young kid. Yeah, what was he like as a kid? I think a lot of people want to know that one. Uh, um, um, was a really nice kid. Really nice Come kid. Come on, there must be more than that you <laughs> no, can no, give no. us. No, he's a really nice kid. He, f he follow all the boxes everywhere. Come to the gym, watch us train. And then now and then I'll take him to Bethnal Green, show him a few of street street life. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You used to take Eddie Hearn to Bethnal Green. What, <laughs> Bethnal Green what, what did you used to show him? What, what the run is like, you know, where not to go, where to go, and street life. where to buy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Eddie likes like to think he's got a bit of street in him, so that's obviously come from oh, the yeah, Bethnal yeah. Green days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you go to Bethnal Green, that's it. You know the street then. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's places. a bit of Eddie's past we didn't know, so we <laughs> yeah. like that. We like that sort of thing. In fact, there's one thing that he doesn't actually remember. Yeah. I took him to Carnaby Street. He was looking at hats. And on the way back at the shop, the girl stopped us and thought, she thought we'd nick something. And they searched us, but Eddie can't remember this. And I was having, really having a go. Search Eddie shopping. as well, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, search they, yeah, yeah. they searched Eddie as well. But he can't remember. Or he doesn't want to remember. Thought, yeah, they thought we'd been shoplifting, but that wasn't the case. Yeah. yeah. And I was saying to the girl, you wait till I get his dad on you. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, British boxing's in a in a good place, and one of the reasons for that yeah. is, you know, obviously, um, the amount of world champions we have now, the bigger yeah. fights we're having now, and you know, people like Eddie Hearn and all the other promoters in the game, they're yeah. still doing it, and they're still, like I said, making British boxing what it is. Yeah, it's well, it's fantastic at, at the moment what's going on in boxing, you know. And then I wish I was boxing now. The money in it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I heard something the other day about someone being offered seventy grand and they refused to take take the fight. I think mean, you were talking about Twitter yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I would <laughs> jump. I would jump to that so quick and get paid and just go and buy myself two houses and that's it and carry on fighting. <laughs> but 
Yeah, well, that's boxing. You boxing, aren't you? Yeah, I just started. He's, he's about a year ago. I started coming here to kick stop. Yeah, you're not he's sparring with now, man, are you? Nah, nah. <laughs> you need them stilts. <laughs> 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 nah, don't worry. I've got a good body shot. I'll soon bring him down. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so everything going well with it? Yeah, yeah, it's going well. Hopefully I'll get more into it soon. Come back here more regularly, join the amateur club and see how that goes, yeah? Definitely. So there's a life outside chicken farming. Just yeah, always definitely. remember that, yeah? <laughs> definitely. I just want to reel you into the, the family chicken farming business, but, yeah. you know, give the boxing a go as well. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I think you should come down and have a look at the chicken farm. Uh, yeah, do you know what? See, Listen, we will come there one day. Something like, where are they now? And see where, where I am now. Yeah. It's good. Okay, well, yeah. quite interesting really that approach to be honest. Yeah. Alright, well listen, Francis Archie, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, pleasure to speak to you. Pleasure to meet you. I've never actually met you before, Francis. Yeah. Obviously, I know all about you, yeah. but uh, never met you before. So, best of luck with your boxing thank as well. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch up soon. Nice one, nice boss. Take care. Thank yeah. you.